What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here, coming at you live with episode 19 of Bullpen Banter, where we talk about MLB the show by Sony's San Diego Studios. Uh, as we all know, we've uh, had a big tragedy in the baseball community recently uh, with the passing of Jose Fernandez. Uh, so, just to kick off this episode, I'd like to take a moment of silence. Uh, for him, so if we could all just keep it down, keep the chat quiet for a moment. Uh, let's just reflect on on the quality baseball player and human he was, uh, just for a moment. Okay. Uh... Yeah, rough weekend, but, uh, I, you know, the show must go on. Uh, the Marlins uh, are whooping the Mets right now. Uh, I believe they're all wearing Jose Fernandez jerseys, and I believe uh, the owner of the Marlins said 16 was going to be retired uh, after tonight's game, which I think is a, a great gesture uh, from the organization. Jose Fernandez is one of the great young pitchers uh, in baseball. I think it was a, like a 2.59 ERA, something crazy. Uh, he was destined to be a star for years and decades to come. Uh, that's just that. Uh, but let's talk about let's talk about video games. Try to put a smile on some faces. Uh, try to make everybody happy. So, and will be the show. Uh, it's been a fun week. I've been playing a lot more recently. And I uh, was very happy to get into it last night. Had uh, some good luck last night. Let me uh, pull up a highlight for you guys. Hopefully you can hear it. S. Lewis, how's it going, sir? Uh, where are these things? Uh, dun, 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 dun. I started a road to the show with a young gentleman named... Uh, Timothy Tebow, because I thought that would be hilarious. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. With two on and two away, it looks like we'll see a pinch hitter in this spot. I've actually been raking with him. Uh, he's only 22 years old instead of 29, but it's all good. Now batting number 15. Two outs. Pinch hit roll. Two on. Yacked high and Sid, deep into sir. right center. Robles going back on it. Still going back. Uh, yeah, gave him Daniel Murphy's uh, batting stance. A dramatic home run and, that uh, gives actually him their first fun doing. lead of the game. Uh, one of the things I do when I play Roach the Show as a fielder is I will usually turn off all the so fielding and all that stuff. So a three-run shot to right fitting. center field. And, uh, home run number kind of three here in the early going. Uh, as they have taken the lead. It's now three to two. I think I'm like... Three series in? And, well, uh, apparently these guys didn't see the highlights from yet. Uh, then also last night I was playing a game, tough, tough battle online. Uh, I built an NL East team, which is one you'll see uh, when I pull up the game. Uh, but you know what happens? Someone was beating me. They decided bringing in uh, rookie Chris Sale was a good idea. And uh, I think we all know that that is not a good idea. A drive to left. Uh, we get down, out of here. Get we out were, of here. Oh, we were down Go one. On. They win it. Time Santa for, Maria. Winning on first base. Wilson Ramos just goes Jimmy Jack Central uh, to get us a win. So there. a three-run blast to straight that away a, left. A great game. And none uh, bigger than that, that one as this ball game come is out with over. A w on my side. And guys, I think you might agree. There's little doubt that the star of this afternoon's contest uh, yeah, really like was playing this, with this man. Uh, team Wilson Ramos. Put uh, that on a bubblegum card. He's our top player really in the nice game. Thing. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is the this is the team I've been using. Trey Turner, kind of a monster in center field. I think he's got 90 speed. His contacts are in the 80s. Uh, let me just go look at him real quick so I can... Yeah, con his base contact is 86 and 84. 90 speed, 90 steal, 90 base running aggressive. If you don't have Trey Turner, probably should get Trey Turner. Don't have a ton of power? 
But still, right now with the boost, he's at, what, 98 contact and 96 contact. He's getting on base. He's at a little bit of an arm. And he's got the speed and reaction to get there. Also can play middle infield for you. Trey Turner seems like a no doubt. Uh, all right. So what I want to take a look at is the recent roster update that came out. Uh, is this the right one? What am I looking at here? Pull this up. Uh, I didn't realize Mookie Betts got up to a 96. One of that. I feel like that. I feel like I missed most of this in the last roster update. I feel like there wasn't that much. I thought it was just the Ortiz that came out. Uh, but yeah, the headliner of the group was a uh, a prime flashback, uh, David Ortiz. Uh, 99 power versus righties, 99 power versus lefties. Uh, 79 contact versus righties, 70 contact versus lefties. Uh, beastly, most importantly, his speed is 10 times faster than his live edition. As you can see, he has a 10 now instead of the 1. Uh, but yeah, I did not realize that Mookie Betts got an upgrade. What did they do? Was it just a position move that I didn't realize? They gave him a lot more. Oh, they gave him a lot of arm. Strength and acceleration, a little more reaction. Huh. I feel like I didn't see this when the roster update came out. Hmm. Uh, that makes him more beastly. And when he's got the IE boost, uh, he's going to be playing better than that Trey Turner because the Trey Turner has the the contact to match him, but not the power. But Trey Turner has the speed, and it looks like Trey Turner still has the arm to beat him. Uh, I feel like if you have Mookie Betts and Trey Turner in, you don't need a bench because those guys can do everything for you. Uh, that's kind of awesome. Did not realize that. John Lester gets a plus one bump. Pedroia gets a plus one bump. This is when Turner turned gold. LeMahieu also. What did he get? Did he get more contact? I can't believe he got more contact. Four more versus right, three more versus left. Yeah, TJ LeMahieu slaps it all around. Uh, he was a great pull in uh, Battle Royale because he had tons of contact out of silver. Uh, anybody else we need to look at here? Justin Upton, still on a tear. Clay Buckholtz. I think he just got moved out of the bullpen and back to the starting rotation, and that's why he's a plus five. Same, same with Cole Mentor. Uh, Jaime Garcia takes the drop because he moved to the bullpen. Uh, I think that's the only ones really, really need to look at. Ryan Healy. I feel like people were talking about Ryan Healy when we were doing the bronze squad. Uh, good contact, good power, 62, 65, 56, 70. That's not bad. That'll play. Definitely play on a bronze team. Uh, Urias, back to the bullpen. But I think Urias, even with that, I mean, he's got the stamina and a good pitch mix. You could use him as a long man if you needed. Just got to worry about the low walks per nine and low hits per nine. Uh, Ryu, Ryu, uh, Ryu Ruiz gets his first card for the Braves. Vogelbach, Gamboa goes to the bullpen. Uh, Gamboa actually probably, that's probably a good thing because now you can have Gamboa in your pen uh, whenever you need him, which is kind of nice. So now you can have Knucklers out of the pen and Knucklers starting. Um uh, so that might be interesting. We might see a lot more Gamboas uh, getting played now. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of it. I feel like I did not realize this Betts upgrade was here uh, when I looked at the tweet that Daddy Leaks put out. Interesting. I kind of want to kind of want to go look and see if that was a thing. Give me one second here, because I definitely want to look at this. Unless they changed something that we didn't know about. Which would have been quite odd. Yeah. Yeah, that is weird. Look, I'm going to pull this up. Look. 
Correct. On twitter.com slash daddy leagues. Uh, media. Yeah, so here's the roster update that they tweeted out, and it does not have Betts, Lester, Pedroia, or Trey Turner on it. I wonder if their thing didn't get updated till later? Very weird. Very weird. I knew I knew I wasn't crazy. At least I hoped I wasn't crazy, but uh yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I really didn't see that coming. That's why I was very confused. Uh, yeah, so tonight uh, we're going to be playing with this NL East team uh, that I have built. I think it's a pretty good squad. I'm loving it a lot. Uh, we've got Yelich, Turner, and Stanton in the outfield. Mikhail Franco at third base, which I might switch him out. Did not play well with him. Uh, Anderson Simmons, that's the flashback to the Braves. D. Murphy's the second baseman, Freddie Freeman at first. Uh, Wilson Ramos behind the plate, Scherzer on the mound. The bench is pretty good. I think I want to put Prado in to start at third base over uh, Franco. He's the flashback with the Braves. Also have JT Real Munto as a catcher option. Uh, Fred McGriff to play first. Uh, Orlando Cepeda, ha they have him at first base, but he can also play left. Yes, also can play left. Also D Gordon for the speed. Negative IE boost, but you're using him mainly for speed and maybe a sack of bunt late in the game. Uh, so the IE boost isn't going to really hurt you. Uh, pitching staff, Scherzer, Syndergaard. Uh, I have flashback DeGrom, Julio Tehran, and uh, Tanner Rourke. Uh, then for the bullpen, I have flashback Ryan Madsen, A.J. Ramos, Barrett, Reed, Rodney, Familia, and Melanson. Though this pen might need to get rejiggered, or maybe Familia might just become the closer, because Melanson was on an IE boost yesterday. Not today, so that is not good. That's not going to help us later when we go online and... Uh, Try to get some dubs. Uh, but tonight, what I want to talk about is silver players. Uh, so we're actually going to hop back over to uh, Daddy Leagues. Uh, I noticed that uh, Clutch Silver, I believe his name is, uh, at Clutch Silver on Twitter. Let me just verify that there's no numbers or anything there. Clutch. Silver. Yeah, at Clutch Silver is going to be doing a MLB The Show tournament starting October thirtieth. Uh, so make sure you follow him on Twitter, uh, so you can find out how you get and get how you can get into it. Uh, the rule that they are using is you have to be all twenty five players have to be silver, and when they say silver, uh, they don't necessarily mean silver. The card is silver. It just has to be a silver rated card uh so flashbacks are also available uh to be used there what is the top of silver is it 84 if, if i'm not mistaken yeah 84 is the top of silver oh, i wish it was 85 then we can get some christian yelich action in uh, and a lot of actually a lot of those legends uh so we're gonna be looking at players that are 84 and under on their base card uh, because most people that do tournaments, when they say stuff like the cards have to be silver, uh, it's only the base rating. So if they have an IE boost, uh, that's actually going to help you out a lot. Uh, so we'll go around the horn. Uh, what we'll do here is uh, we'll also do a team builder. We'll call this uh, TSG Silver Squad. Because uh, I think we already have... The Bronze Squad. Let me uh, see if we can find that for you. Oh, we have budget. For, yeah, we have the TSG Bronze Squad. So now we'll do the TSG Silver Squad. No space. Uh, but we'll start behind the plate. So we want to look for people uh, with an overall rating of less than or equal to 84. I'll tell you right now, the answer is going to be Jared Saltalamachia. Because I love Jared Saltalamachia. Uh, this is the flashback card that I believe you get for doing the Red Sox 25-man collection. Uh, 80 contact versus righty. 88 power versus righty. 
Uh, obviously, you're going to need to platoon him, which is something we're definitely going to look into in two seconds to find out who's going to platoon him. Uh, but I feel like Jared Saltlamakia easily has to be your starting catcher. Uh, which one of these is? We can close this one. Uh, yeah, you're also going to have some problems. He's got 85 fielding, uh, 81 arm strength, and 85 blocking, which seems good. Uh, but I feel like he still lets up a lot of pass balls, so you don't want to be getting too crazy with him. Uh, but his hitting is is monstrous. Uh, specific, obviously, specifically against right-handed pitching. Uh, versus lefties, you definitely don't want him in there too much. Uh, but let me... I just want to hop over to my screen. Uh, I've had Jared Saltlamakia come up 263 times. He has 16 home runs. And he's hitting at... He's hitting 278, which I thought was actually higher. Uh, his batting average versus left-handed pitchers I have... Or sorry, against the righties is 266. Actually, versus lefties, I rake with him also, which is kind of weird. Uh, 353 with runners in scoring position. 525 slugging. Kind of a beast. Kind of love this Jared Salt Uh He's always clutch. Always super clutch for me. Uh, so I highly recommend having him in your uh, silver lineup if you're going to be doing a team like this. Uh, but we need to find, as I always say, we need to catch, have a catcher platoon. And Salt Lamakia is perfect for that because he's going to easily cover our first side of the platoon. Uh, we're going to need to find someone that can cover the left, the other side. I do love me a Yasmani Grandal. Uh, you can see him right here. Uh, boop. A little too much there. Uh, 78 contact versus lefties. 81 power versus lefties. I wonder if they've gotten anybody else in here that can do the same kind of thing. Uh, let's for, see if we can find somebody else that has 75 plus on both. Probably not. Uh, you got Grandal, you have Wellington Castillo, and you have Luke Roy. Uh, hmm. I might actually go with Beef Wellington. If you can get him on a IE boost, Wellington Castillo is going to be the play. I uh, see so he's got 78 contact versus righty, 79 power versus... Uh, sorry, uh, 78 contact versus lefty, 79 power versus lefty. Uh... He's going to be a good play there. Also has the defense and the fielding, uh, which is pretty much similar to uh, Grandal. Grandal is a switch hitter, though, so that's also nice. Uh, 26 speed to 38 speed. I mean, that's really not that going to be that big of a difference. Uh, I think if Wellington Castillo is going to be on an IE boost, I think uh, I think I have to highly recommend uh, you go with him. Even if he's just, just a plane without an IE boost, uh, I might say he is going to be your guy. Let's go in here. Well, in. Right, isn't it? Well, one L. Well, in. Come on, where are you? Wellington Castillo. All right. I don't know why I didn't want to find him, but we got him now. All right, let's uh, take these out. Let's go find ourselves a first baseman is hmm the alan craig is nice again great contact great power versus lefty jose Abreu also beastly uh victor martinez i almost want to say victor martinez might be the play uh because he's got crazy high contact uh but i think if you're gonna go with him you might as well just go with an alan craig carlos santana's got some nice power Justin Bohr is also nice. Rookie Goldschmidt. Ryan Howard. I mean, if you're going to platoon, if you really want to spend 10K on a Ryan Howard, 87 contact versus righties, 99 power versus righties. Brandon Moss also has the big power. Adam Lind. Uh, I was using him in that bronze team. Uh, so we definitely want to. So we definitely want to focus on a silver. Uh, yes, because the clutch silver rules are they have to be silver. Uh, we should add that into our rating. Overall rating is equal to or above 78. Boom. Add that in there. Make it a little cleaner. What, what are these golds in here? 
Uh, no, we can only do one at a time, probably. Okay. Uh, hmm. I also like the poo holes. Hmm. Difficult, difficult situation uh, here. What I'm going to say, I want to lean towards Alan Craig, but I know he's super slow. Lind Morneau. Victor Martinez. <laughs> you know, I think, I think what's the, I believe the Alan Craig is the one you get for doing the 25 man uh, for the Cardinals. <sighs> Jose Abreu is also very good. Uh, and Brady's got more power. I am going to say, and I would love to get your feedback in the chat. Maybe we put V-Mart. Does V-Mart still have catcher? He still has catcher. So maybe we put him on the bench. Let's get V-Mart on the bench. He could come up in a clutch hitting situation. Uh, but again, speed's an issue with him, so you're, we're definitely going to get a, a bench speedster with having uh, Castillo and Victor Martinez down here. But I think I'm going to go with Alan Craig as the first baseman. Bonus points for Alan Craig because uh, he also has right field eligibility. Uh, but these contact numbers are huge, plus the power of, against lefties. Uh, if you end up facing a lefty pitcher with Craig and Wellington Castillo, uh, you're going to be doing pretty good. And maybe we even move, end up moving Craig uh, to the outfield. Not a ton of speed for Craig, uh, as you can see, 35. Also slow reaction, so you don't really want to do that. Uh, but it is a possibility that you have. So it's always something to consider. Uh, let's head over to second base now. Logan Forsyth looking like he wants to be on this team real bad. Flashback Omar Infante also has a ton of contact. Devin Travis, 81 contact, 67 contact versus lefties, which puts him in a Joe Panic at the Disco kind of area. I don't hate that. Who else has the high contact versus righties? Uh, that's usually the main thing I like to look for is the high contact versus righties or versus lefties, or, uh, or versus uh, power versus righties, because you figure most of the time... You're going to get a a power guy in there. Jonathan Shoup also good, really good against righties. You get the power from an Ugla. I do like the idea of, wow, look at this. Look at this Derek Dietrich plus right now. With that, he's crushing people. I mean, I feel like if... If Dietrich's on a boost, you kind of have to take Dietrich because he's going to have uh, 80 power versus lefties, 78 power versus righties, some number I can't even calculate for contact versus lefties, and uh, 60, 70, 80, was it 82 contact versus righties? <coughs> if Dietrich's going to be on an IE boost, I think we're definitely going to have to go with him uh, or even a Jed Gurko. Both kind of tearing it up, but I guess Dietrich got the better boosts. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Anybody got speed? I think what I'm going to do is... Ooh, this Howie Kendrick is even also very nice. Is there anybody like a super speedster that I should know about? Jose Altuve? Jose Altuve might be good enough to be that bench guy for you. Does he have a secondary position? Did, Jose, did he come up as a shortstop or anything crazy? No, just a second baseman. Hmm. It's a tough one. I really, I really like those two guys. Uh, I feel like Howie Kendrick is going to sneak in here and be this guy. If you're not on an IE boost, I think I'm going to give it to Howie Kendrick. I'm going to give it to Howie Kendrick. Eighty-three overall, Howie Kendrick, rookie flashback, tons of contact, decent power. He's got some speed. He's going to be playing second base. You don't really need to worry about the arm strength and stuff. But looks like an over, like a, a pretty great number, maybe like a number two hitter on this team. 
depending on who we get in the outfield, or if we get a fast shortstop to lead it off, I think Howie Kendrick can be your one or two on this team with that kind of contact. Well, let's go to third. Let's see what we've got over there. Now here, here's a thing. I think we want to. We definitely want Jake Lamb, either starting or on the bench. I think we want to go with a Jake Lamb. I would ha be happy with. How do we got this? Get this Josh Donaldson. I wonder if this is a Diamond Dynasty, uh, a Battle Royale only card. If so, I want to go Jake Lamb. I'm going to put Jake Lamb at third, but I'm also going to put Sano on the bench. Because Sano can, cru can pretty much crush lefties. Or do we want a David Wright? Hmm. I think Jake Lamb is the play at third. I think Jake Lamb is our third and starting third baseman. Let me just double check his fielding. A 69. Not bad. Yeah, let's put Jake Lamb at third. And then I... So we have uh, switch righty, righty, lefty. Okay. But then I think... I feel like Miguel Sano is going to go on the bench. And the bonus points for Sano... Uh, he's obviously got the power. Also got good contact against lefties. Righties is a little bit of a problem. Low plate vision. So that's also going to be a small issue for you. But also has the ability to play the corner outfield. Which I think is also going to be a big thing. Uh, depending on who you're facing. Uh, so let's get Miguel Sano on the bench. Let's make him a definite bench spot. Again, we're going to need some speedsters on the bench to uh, to make sure we're good at the end. Uh, but right now we have a catcher, a contact guy, and a power guy covered on the bench. Uh, so the only two things I'm really missing are a speedster and a super utility guy. Uh, so we can definitely come back to those uh, as we go through this. Uh, let's go to the shortstop position. Andrelton Simmons, amazing shortstop. I'm using him on this team, as I said earlier, uh, my NL East team that I'm working with. Uh, Addison Russell. Maybe we get. Maybe this is where we get the speed. Maybe we get a speed or a high defense guy. Uh, I know we talked about a rookie Brandon Crawford with the bronze team. All right, Jonathan Flores got some speed, good fielding. Eduardo Nunez has good contact. Uh, contact versus lefty though goes to Villar, which is nice. Mm hmm. Look at fielding. Is anybody with like insane fielding that I should know about? The Brandon Crawford that we have on the bronze team, but again, uh, we don't want to go with a bronze. We only we want to stick to silver players. Edney Hechevaria has eighty five speed, uh, eighty five fielding, which is nice. Uh, Sixty five speed, just a little slow. Seventy seven arm strength. I think Hechevaria can play a lot of positions. Uh, you can play short, second, and third for you, which is another bonus. Uh, but I think on this team, like uh, like the bronze team, I think I'm going to go with the Andrelton Simmons flashback so you can lock down that shortstop position uh, and hope. And I don't think anything's getting bad, getting by him. 67 speed. I'd like another option, I would think, is maybe this DD Gregorius. If he's got IE boost, he's going to be pretty nasty. Uh, same with Jose Iglesias. Uh but the fielding and the arm on on this Andrelton Simmons are just next level. Uh, so let's go in there and put him in as our shortstop. Uh, the 84. This is the live series 84, I'm assuming. Yes. Yes, this is the live series card. Uh, so he's an 84. The flashback's an 85. So let's go with him. Now we have the outfield. For the outfield, I'm just going to go with their primary positions. Uh, but let's not forget, we need a speedster and a utility guy also on the bench. So, maybe we can find one of them out here. Uh, let me just look at the makeup of the team. Again, a lot of contact. We got some power from Jake Lamb uh, and power from Sano off the bench. So maybe we want to get a power hitter out here uh, in these corner spots. Like a Justin Upton. Look at this. 82 and 74. Uh, Chris Davis. 
Chris Davis actually pretty nasty looking. He's even got contact better than Upton. Gets better IE boosts than Upton. Plus already some better power numbers. Or uh, better contact versus righties and better power versus lefties. Nasty. Nasty. Also, Dickerson slaps it around. He's got 81 contact versus righties. Plus the IE boost gives him uh, 96. Chris Heisey is bronze, so we're not going to talk about him. Whew. There's some, there's some real good options out here. EY Jr. is common. He doesn't count. Brett Gardner. Uh, he's got some speed. Good contact. Is this a flashback or is this a base card? Prime flashback. Yeah, good contact. Some speed. Or good speed. Good fielding. He's a, He's in the running. I don't want to. I don't want to count him out right now. Uh, can we get some seventy-five power? Who, who's got seventy-five power that we should know about? Cliff Floyd flashback. I'm telling you, I really like this Chris Davis. This Chris Davis is not going to have any plate vision. I'm assuming. Same with Upton. Uh, Kobe Rasmus. I mean, let's look at all of them. 49 plate vision for Davis, 24 for Justin Upton. I almost think, do we need a lefty? Do we need lefty bats? If we're facing a righty, one, two. I kind of want to put Chris Davis on this team. I think he has to be there. The speed's not there, which is kind of a problem, but... He's got the power and the good enough plate division that it's not going to be an issue, I don't think. I think we put I think we put Chris Davis in left field for this team. Uh, I'm not going to use this team tonight, but I will be using this team in the future. Uh, so we'll definitely see how this plays out, but I feel like Chris Davis is a play. Kobe Rasmus might be... I don't know. I, don't, I feel like maybe he's not. I don't think he's going to make the bench on this team. Uh, yeah, I don't. I just don't think he makes the bench for this team. Like that. Mm. Chris Davis, 99 power versus lefties. That's pretty nasty. 91 power versus righties. Uh, Chris Davis is a legit monster right now. Do not get it twisted. Uh, all right. Take this out. Go to center field. I feel like center field, we have to find our speedster here. Uh, Kevin Kiermeyer, 86 speed. I can live with that. He's got a lot of IE boosts IE boost as well. Uh, 99 speed for a Beham. Jared Dyson. Jacobi Ellsbury. Locaine? Is Locaine the play? A Rajai Davis with an 89. I mean, I feel like if we could go Beham. That would be an obvious pick. Jacoby Ellsbury, though. You know what? I'm going to go Jacoby Ellsbury. He outs hit Billy Hamilton at every position. Um, and he gets his lefty bat in the lineup. And he's got good fielding. Doesn't have a ton of an arm. That's the That's the real rub against him. Uh, but I think we should put Jacoby Ellsbury on the lineup, and then I think we put Beham uh, on the bench as our speed runner guy. 99 steel, 99 speed, 99 aggressive. We can even uh, drag bunt if we need to. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go Ellsbury in center. Uh, the 82 live series, which gives us another lefty bat. We're going to put Hamilton on the bench. Uh, so now we still have good mix. So if we're facing a righty, Salty's going to be lefty. Lamb's going to be a lefty. Ellsbury's going to be a lefty. Three lefties is good. Beham's also a switch hitter if we need. Vmart's also a switch hitter if we need. Uh, I think we're good there. Uh, let's see if we can find us a right fielder. I feel like, whoa, 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 whoa. Jose Batista is down to a silver. 
That seems very interesting to me right now. Got, an, got a cannon, doesn't have a lot of fielding. Trumbo, also a silver, hits Yak Daddies. I feel like it's a toss-up between, like, a Trumbo, a Kemp, a Batista. Gregory Blanco is also pretty beastly. I know a lot of people love the Sinsu Chu. The flashback and the live series are good. Right field, you have lots of options. Oh, man. I feel like this Trumbo... I feel like you're... I feel like you go Trumbo. I mean, the fielding's a problem. But he's kind of got an arm. He's a better hitter than Batista. I mean, it's it's this. I think your right field is really going to be an IE boost kind of thing. You just probably you're probably going to want to go with the hot hand between uh, Batista, Trumbo, and Kemp. There's a Dodgers Kemp. There's a flashback, so he's not going to change. Hmm. Oh, that makes it even more interesting. If he's not going to change, if he's not going to change. He gives you the contact and he gives you some power. Also has some speed. Can play the outfield. Has a little bit of an arm. Nick Swisher, also a beast. This is tough. This is tough. We also need a utility guy for the bench. Now, let me just look at this again. Uh, we need a utility guy. Can I... Does here's my main question. Does Billy Hamilton? Uh, let me just go find that Billy Hamilton again. So if you find him quick, does he still have the middle infield? He does not. So we definitely want to get a middle infielder for the bench. I think your right field play. What do you do? Oh, man. Right field's tough. So many options. Uh, Jose Batista. I think we're looking at Batista, Trumbo, Flashback Kemp's an option. This Piscotti's an option. Carlos Beltran's an option. I think you're literally just going to have to play the hot hand at who's getting the IE boost at the time. I was hoping Billy Hamilton had the second base... Uh, Shortstop eligibility? I don't know. Oh, man. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say possibly an unpop. I'm going to put Kemp on this team. But again, with the knowledge that, depending on IE boosts, I think it's I think it's a toss up. IE boosts are going to change your right fielder. Also, depending on how good the IE boost is, you could have a Piscotti or a Mark Trumbo playing first base for you. That's also something you want to look at. I guess you could also have Jose Batista playing first base. Depending on the IE boost, I think you're going to be down to a Batista, Trumbo, uh, Piscotti, right field or first base kind of thing. I love Alan Craig. Again, tons of contact, not a ton of power. These guys all have the power that could be playing there. Uh, so that's something you definitely want to think about. I'm going to put Kemp on, but put the asterisks there. That there's a multitude of right fielders that you could put out there. We still need someone that can play a little second base, shortstop, uh, middle infield, something, something. Uh, let's go look at shortstops because usually the shortstop will have the second baseman eligibility. Uh, I think we're looking. One of these guys is going to pinch. The assumption is one of these guys is going to pinch hit for Andrelton Simmons. So we're, we're, we should look more for a shortstop. And I kind of want to stick with the fielding idea because you figure they're going to pinch hit for Anderson Simmons. And then you're going to still want to bring in a defensive replacement uh, that can still play. 
I think we go Jose Iglesias because even after the defensive replacement part, if you have to go deeper into the game, he's going to have the contact there to help you out. While he may not have the power, uh, he's going to have the contact that'll do the job. You know, Escobar, oh, he doesn't have the defense on par. Yeah, let's go with Jose Iglesias as our last bench player. Uh, tch, 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 boom. So we get the defense uh, and middle infield replacement. Can he play any other positions? Or is he just solely a shortstop? Again, he's probably only going to play shortstop, but he's got shortstop and third base. I mean, if you move him to second, you're probably not going to take that big of a hit. Uh, so he can do that for you. Beham can play all around the outfield, and he's going to be your speed guy. You get the power from Cano. You get the contact from Victor Martinez. And you get the backup catcher slash platoon in Wellington Castillo. The lineup, Salt Lamakia, Alan Craig, Howie Kendrick, Jake Lamb, Andrelton Simmons, Chris Davis, Jacoby Ellsbury, and Matt Kemp. Again, in right field, tons of options depending on the IE boosts. Uh, I feel like Kemp is the safe play because he's not going to have an IE boost either way, so you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's some good selections there, I think. Uh, let's, go, let's go look at the starting pitching. Uh, for that, what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to uh, the console to look at. Uh, so let's get over there real quick. We're going to be looking at starting pitchers with a max overall of 84. So, Sonny Gray is here, which is an interesting pick. I think we got to put Tyson Ross on this team. Uh, can we see his individual pitch stuff here? No, you can't. Weak. But his slider, super-duper nasty. You see that 99 break? Uh, his, sli his slider just slip slides all over the place. Uh, I think Tyler Ross, def or Tyson Ross definitely needs to be on this team. So, we're going to go throw him in here. Marco Estrada looks nice. What's the break? 96 break. I want to put... I want to put Sonny Gray on this rotation. I feel like that's going to be... Cause for debate. Like Sonny Gray. Started as a... Did he start as a high gold? I feel like he started as a high gold. Like, maybe a 91? I mean, I can look this up. We have the, we have the power uh, to look this up. Sonny Gray started the year at... At a 92. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. But still, love him. Look at this pitch mix he's got. Four seam, two seam, 12 to 6, slider, and a change. You got a lot of stuff to play with, especially with some silvers. Uh, you're going to be facing some weaker batters. So having that great pitch mix, I think it's going to come in super handy. Uh, I'm going to put Sonny Gray in this rotation. Sonny Gray. Uh, I love me a Marco Estrada. Love me a Cliff Lee. Who else we got here? Shelby Miller. Oh, Scherzer's good. Like anybody, I want to see someone that jumps out on me. Chris Archer, nasty slider, nasty Ks per nine, nasty velocity. Chris Archer might be a guy. I think, especially if you're going to be using this for a tournament type of situation, uh, like Clutch Silver's tournament, uh, I think you got to kind of use the Stephen Wright. Got to have the knuckler in there to change it up a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pencil him in. 84, the knuckle. How are you going to dance with that? You can't. Cobb, Lackey. Lackey's good. Goose. All right. What up with this bum gardener? It's all right. Hit the wrong button. Did you hate that when you hit the wrong button? It's L2, not L1. R1. 84 starting pitcher. Start. All right. L2 changes pages. Tim Lincecum. I'm going to say Tim Lincecum comes on this team. I feel like Tim Lincecum plays here. I mean, he's expensive. 
expensive as all get out. Control's a problem. Maybe we don't go Linscom. Hmm. I mean, if we're getting down this low, uh, I definitely want to put Garrett Richards on here. Garrett Richards has been a beast for me. 90 velocity, 93 break. Uh, let's get him in this rotation. Again, no lefty, which is right now. So far, we have Tyson Ross, Sonny Gray, Stephen Wright, Garrett Richards. We need a lefty. Uh, I like the Cliff Lee. Drew Pomerantz? What are you working with? 84. 84 break, 81 hits per, K, yeah, 81 hits per nine, 83 Ks per nine. Walks per nine's kind of low. Mad Bum? Hmm. Yeah, Wayne right action? No, we need a lefty. Is Matt's a play here? 92 velocity, sinker, curve, change. For you, uh, Liriano, uh, I mean, I kind of want to say this Cliff Lee. I'm going to say this Cliff Lee. Cliff Lee is pretty nasty. Two seam cut, four seam circle, and the slow curve. We're going to go Cliff Lee. Nasty. Nasty as he wants to be. We can put him in as the third or the fifth SP. We're going to move him over to 84. We're going to put him in at third. Uh, so the rotation is going to be Tyson Ross, Sonny Gray, Cliff Lee, Stephen Wright, and Garrett Richards. Uh, we need some bullpen action, though. So let's go over here, see if we can get in the, get in the pen. Got any dope closers? Well, Helmson's pretty nasty. I think Will Helmson's going to have to go in as the closer. Let's get him in here. Glenn Perkins. We're going to need a lefty. Are there any other high-quality lefty silvers that we should know about? Rex Brothers. This is the flashback. Oh, yeah. Flashback. Cam Bedrock Bedrosian. I like this Ryan Madsen. I think we go a lot of closers here. Someone oh. All right, let's let's just go through this. I think we're gonna take Will Helmson. We're gonna take Perkins because we need the lefties. I think we're also gonna take Sungwon O. Why? You ask. Five pitches out of a out of a reliever. Huge. That is huge. Let's get him on this. What else we need? Giles is good because he's got tons of velocity. A pitch mix kind of isn't there for me, but I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, let's get let's get Giles in here. Carol's got a nasty a nasty change here. I think we need him. Add him to the team. I think I have most of this team also, which is uh, pretty good in case we actually didn't want to use them. Let's just take a look at the relief pitchers rather than the closing pitchers for a second. Dave Robertson. Because Dave Robertson is actually pretty nasty. I think we should probably get him. Darren O'Day gives you a ton of break. Let's get Darren O'Day on here. Then we have... Okay, so if we have O'Day, we have one spot left. Uh, we're definitely not putting Flashback Chris Sale. Not going to happen. Um, Pistano's nice. Wilson's nice, I think. I think this Jabba Chamber... Uh, I think we're going to go with Flashback Dave Robertson. 
Not as a real long man, but. So our bullpen would be Dave Robertson, Darren O'Day, K Rod, Ken Giles, Sung Wan Oh, Glenn Perkins, and Tom Wilhelmslin. Let's go over this again. One more time. Tyson Ross is the starting pitcher. Ace, number one. Sonny Gray, Cliff Lee, Stephen Wright, Garrett Richards with a pen of David Robertson, Darren O'Day, K-Rod, Ken Giles, Sung Wan Oh, Glenn Perkins, and Tom Wilhelmson closing it out. Then around the diamond, you have Jared Saltalamakia if you're playing against right-handed pitching, Wellington Castilla if you're playing against left-handed pitching, uh, Alan Craig at first, Howie Kendrick at second. Those are both flashbacks, or all three of those guys uh, so far are flashbacks. Uh, Jake Lamb at third, Andrelton Simmons at short, Chris Davis in left, Jacoby Ellsbury in center, Matt Kemp flashback in right. Uh, then on the bench, as we said, Wellington Castillo will play against left-handed pitching. Victor Martinez gives you a ton of contact off the bench. Uh, Miguel Sano gives you a ton of power off the bench. Uh, the, Victor Martinez also has emergency catcher abilities for you. Uh, Sano, I think, can play third, first, and the corner outfields. Uh, then you have Billy Hamilton, who can play all the outfields and has tons of speed and the drag bunt ability. And Jose Iglesias, uh, after you pinch it for Anderson Simmons, like you're probably going to do at some point. Uh, Brandon Iglesias still has good defense, has some contact if you need him for late in the game. Uh, 24 grand for this team. Not bad. I'm going to say that's not bad. Uh, I'm going to need to pick up some of these cards if we're going to play with this team. I don't think I have the Kendrick. I don't think I have the Kemp. I definitely don't have the Robertson or the Wilhelmson, I don't think. Uh, but, yeah, pretty smoking silver squad, 83 overall. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty dope. Is there a way to see all my squads in one shot? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but you can go to search teams. Is there a? Is there a way to search by creator? Hmm. This was our super budget team we made before. It's still pretty nasty. It's funny. If you look at the budget team from back then, uh, Corey Dickerson, who we discussed, Roger Davis, who we discussed, Glenn Perkins and Giles, who made this team, uh, Panic, who we discussed, Justin Turner was a discussion, Victor Martinez on the bench, Garrett Richards, uh, Cliff Lee, both here. There's no way to just get all my teams. Uh, but I will put the link to the Silver Squad uh, below. But yeah, not a not a bad squad if you ask if uh, if you ask me. I will try this squad out. Uh, I'll see if Spore wants to build a Silver Squad to go against me. And we can do that as well. Also this week I'm supposed to play Score with a with my Bronze Squad that we built last week. Uh, so that that should be a ton of fun. Uh, I'll actually put the link to the Silver Squad in the chat. Uh, and also have it in the description if you're watching this on YouTube later on. Uh, it'll be in the description down below. Uh, but again, also with right field, don't forget, uh, Matt Kemp is the spot, is the player I have in there. Uh, but Trumbo, Bautista, and whoever else we mentioned before, if they're on an IE boost, they're probably a better play. Uh, I think Piscotti was another one. Uh, they're probably a better play, as well as with the power, they could probably start over Craig, uh, depending on how the IE boost works out. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's our silver, our silver budget squad, or not really budget, but silver squad. If you're going into a tournament, that's a silver team. I think you should use them. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty, aka some gameplay. Because uh, I want to take this team on. I want to. I love this NL team. I just want to double check to make sure I'm not uh, missing anybody crazy that we should think about picking up. Uh, again, this is an NL East squad. Uh, let's just go in the inventory and see if there's anybody from the NL East that I really need to pick up. Literally forgot I picked up Andrew. Uh, yeah, I forgot I had picked up Andrew Miller at some point. Hmm, I 
probably still at Andrews. I have to go through and sell a lot of these cards. Uh, NCRT not on the team. Neither is Matt Kemp, though. After looking at that Matt Kemp stuff, Matt Kemp might have to get on this team. <sighs> Want that, Kimbrel? So I had uh, this Brian McCann. Oh, it was the final score, uh, PH Yankee. I had some McCann, couldn't hit with him. Uh, nice thing about doing this NLE's team, not only am I getting tickets for the uh, the DeGrom captain, I'm also working towards this uh, Frank Hoare as well as the other NL East innings. Oh, nice. Marlins 173. This Chris Medlin looks pretty nasty. But again, Chris Medlin should have uh, a sinker, which I don't understand. Braves, Marlins, do we need anybody from the Marlins? Still need Jose Fernandez, we don't have yet. Got a bunch of guys. We need Adam Conley. How'd he pitch tonight? Pretty good. I'll take 155 for him if I can get it right now. Oh, that's too much. I need to I need to go through this this stuff and replenish. Uh, as I said, I have Stan in right, Gordon's on the bench, Yelich in left. Mike Stanton, so gangster. This Ruggiano, actually, kind of a beast. Is he, like, purchasable? Mm hmm He could... I mean, I have Trey Turner, but... Ruggiano could play. This is very nasty, but I'm sure that's going for a ton. 17. Does he... Upgrade to someone? Did anybody know on that? Does the Cabrera have a, a milestone or a, missions? Need Bryce Harper, need Strasburg. Oh, we have bonus Trey Turners? Do I hold him until he goes diamond? Bonus Wilson Ramoses as well? Go buy those cards if you uh, if you guys need them. Nationals, any flashbacks that we could use? I had this Tanner Orc for a minute. Not going to make the rotation on this team. I also like this Bryce Harper a lot. How much is he going for nowadays? We could almost get him. The Strasburg is also nice. Desmond is nice. Doug Fister. Barely even know her. How much Strasburg going for? Six? Might not be a bad play. Mets. Meet the Mets. I had Cespedes. Ooh, sell him. I've seen a lot of golds I didn't know I had lying around here. I would like to do this Chipper Jones set one day, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Familiar ripping. I want to see it flashback mats. Any flashback mats? David Wright crushes lefties. Do I even want to know? Can't buy him. I believe the Daniel Murphy is the... If you do all the Mets innings, right? Sounds right. Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes is an interesting cat. There's like three Jose Reyeses, and I don't know which one I would want. Brett Sabering for 18k? Seems pretty nasty. Nothing really jumps out at you except for the walks for nine and the control, but you could probably do some things with that card. I do want this demurf, but I feel like the live series demurf's even better. Uh, Phillies. Again, the Howard's ridiculous. And this Cole Hamels can get you up to the other one, right? Might be something to think about. Ruiz. All right, that's going to do it for the end of least. Okay. Need that Jake Arrieta action. Okay, so I think we're going to stick with this team for the most part, right? I want to change my third baseman. 
Which was the one only real thing I wanted to change here. So I don't I don't know why David Wright doesn't have a team. That's weird to me. Sabeda can't play third base, right? Prado. Prado's gonna probably play at third base for me this game. Kelly Johnson. Yeah. 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 So okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's put... I mean, you're not going to play Jose Reyes? Because I don't want you to play it. I want to play Prado, but I'm going to keep Jose Reyes on the bench. Just in case he's needed. And uh, let's go online and see if we can do some damage with this team. Try to get one. Try to get two in. It's like an NL stadium. Uh, let's go with City Field in October. What's City Field know about the October baseball? Come on. Let me lock up with someone. So I have a regular ten hour car. So I guess maybe a flashback ten hour would have uh, made my rotation. Lefty pitcher, huh? Gonna do me like that. Kind of screws up my whole Martin Prado thing. But I guess we can play Jose Reyes then. Uh, okay. Alright, let's go with that. Try that up. Bum G. I think it's the good Bum G. I'm assuming it is because he's got Altuve, Harper, Tulo. Mauer, Braun, Kemp, Goldschmidt, Nolan Arenado. Interesting. And great, we have Tanner Rourke pitching. Well, it's not quite a nor'easter, but the rain's coming down pretty good here at Fenway Park in Boston. It'll be a championship series contest here in Diamond Dynasty between the Gamecocks and the Avengers. Two of the best bats in the business go at it next on the show. Trey Turner rides forward, and we are set for baseball right, here this the evening uh, for New Jersey. In Boston. We know how to pitch Turner. This guy's gonna bring in the blunt defense. And a step off. And a swing and a miss, so a first oh, pitch strike. Right. We're right. underway Seven here this five. evening. A little out front. Grounded to short. 90 Tula speed. Show me those wheels. He's got two low. Right? Like two low is in time for route number one. In the Stepping in, Jose Reyes. Okay, okay, okay. So he's going to hit pause for every bat. Pretty sweet. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Or every pitch, either or. in the air and poke. deep to left center field. Back goes Kim and just short That's of a home run. Bounce. This ball's off the wall. We'll hold up a two. Hold up a two. Cruise into the bag at then second with one out of the wall. But hit the Orlando Cepeda. Cepeda's got a weird a great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And you know you hear it all the time. He's starting to loan in again. They're going yard. Wow. It's 
guy's gonna look literally every pitch. Bumgarner sets. First pitch on its way. Oh, just missed Shot it. Shot foul at the plate. Strike one. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. And here's a slider oh, 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 oh. that runs inside oh, okay. that time, and that'll keep him from diving I mean, out over the plate. I think he was trying to get that slider to know how to pitch in on his at hands. Hold on, now, that ball is down and could score a run. Plan of attack for pitching a Fenway is and not to be fun. Nothing right lead now. as the run comes uh, across the score. That seems like a bad idea. Giancarlo Stanton batting takes four. his first shot here with a runner at first, first now and one away. Stanton. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. And a good fastball there, but this probably should have been the zone for ball one. Hard liner towards I'll just short. Wear out and that'll get down for here. a base hit. At the plate, Daniel Murphy. Got to take Murphy. his first no, I cut here. I feel like he's going to throw Daniel a ball first. Murphy. I can't even look. I don't want to look. He's the pitch. What's up? He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. The fastball here is he'll take ball, a look ball, at ball strike. one. One and oh. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much. So he wants to go low and, oh, well. low and into righties, up and in. Left. Slap hard Ooh. the opposite way. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. And he is in there. Christian Yellow yeah, stands in for the first. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he oh. waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Just missed again. Oh. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Scare him. down runners at first and second and another foul ball let's go he pops him up ah. toward the left side of the infield and Arenado will make the catch to retire the side comes the second baseman Jose Altuve to get things kicked off in the home Leading half of, the of inning number one. Second baseman Jose Altuve. Okay, so we're not going to throw a low into these right. And this one's playing in twos. That field. bounces to the plate for ball one. They want to do that. If they want to hit an oppo home run. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I'm not letting them like put ball two below awesome. the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one tonight. Borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Nope. No That's offer on that. Two balls in the strike. Chops no, and foul at home plate as the Not count moves to two and two now. Still two and two. So he's looking to pull something. And this is fouled at the plate. Wants to pull it. Maybe we fool him with a changeup inside for an overswing. Swung on in the dirt for the third Not strike. Wanted it, but and he makes the first. Balls. Altuve is retired, and there's one away. That so the bases are empty with right one man right gone, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper.
And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Not where I want. One out, nobody on. Tap fouled at home plate. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Take it, Troy Tulowitzki gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Mm, well, now you got him diving out. There. No balls and a strike. Boy, it's only the in at least once, here, maybe twice. He's been impressive so far. He's don't want to get crazy. Don't want to keep going there. Don't want to get caught up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Drop his big thing on the table. Got like him a, swinging, and that will end field. the inning. Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton Simmons. Again, we said not a ton of hitting, in the top of the mainly in there for the defense. Andrelton Maybe we try to slap Simmons. something here. Maybe we get lucky hit something right back in the box. Again, also, you know what we're going to do this game? We're going to make him throw a strike. Now a step yeah, off as they try to get on the same page. Going to put the control down. Make him force him. And that one's oh. in on the hands to start the inning. Not going to swing at that. None of that nonsense. In for a right. strike, it's one and one. Well, that one's at 94, so the ball Also, in theory, right we now. can work. Work Bumgee. Get him out, bringing a righty. Foul right at the Which, plate. Uh, the count moves now to one and two. Line. Might switch to contact swing. On the ground to third. Eat him up. Eat him up. Arenado. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Wilson Ramos. The Wilson Ramos. Here from his no, from the beginning of the show. We saw the highlight of him eating Chris Sale for breakfast. Bumgarner into his motion. Here's the first pitch. Behind Ooh. on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Liner towards Ooh. second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey, look, probably had a chance to be through him first. Not really. Tanner Roark comes to the plate, possibly receiving a bunt Pitcher. sign in order to stay Pitcher. out of the double play. Yeah, and everybody's got a different opinion on this situation. Ooh, but in reality, they're charging it really that comes one. Down to how the I don't like the bunt with pitchers, especially when they're playing in. Do. And a super skill base on it. Don't need to get in there. Trey Turner will get a second shot. We're going to try to yoke him right here. And he only oh, saw a couple pitches, too. There's a swing and a oh! and everybody's <laughs> just going to sit it. back and watch Boom. Boom. What, son? No Did I call for a yoga dope with Trey Turner? And is that what I delivered? Get this guy out of here. Get him out. I don't want him here. Gone. Quit. Get him gone. Gone. Quit. It's all good. I've rope a doped you. Told you I was going to yoke one with Trey Turner. And what did I do? I delivered. Granted, I was looking way low and in. Put a little slide piece to yoke. But no. Got the heater up top, adjusted. First delivery to him on Ooh, the way. out here. Jose Reyes oh, is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's he's one just scared. What did I say? I said I was getting a strike. Good test of his he listen to my own self. He's going to need to snap back in a hurry because he's got a lot more set. danger ahead. Ooh. One hand to make the catch on the move, and that is the inning. Did you see that coming? The yoke -a -doke? I don't. I don't even. I don't even believe that was possible. Avenge that. Joe Mauer strides Ooh. into the box now to lead off Never even pulled that out of the second before. inning. Patrick. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground Boom. third. Fire defensive play. Oh, Jose right Reyes. The yeah, they're getting that moment. So the game base is empty right. here with one away. Uh, and that'll Something bring forth Ryan. the great slugging Braun. left fielder, Ryan Braun. Braun. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. You just throw. One out, nobody else. tried on. to throw a good slider. Ended up throwing a get me over slider to Ryan Braun. What are we, foolish? Also Shot threw a terrible, right terrible curveball there. Can we throw the Greg Maddox two-seamer? Get him to hop back. But actually strike him out. 
swing and he that. pops him up over, over toward yeah. foul territory. Cepeda is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Sick guy. Matt Kemp Matt gets his first chance Kill here. Kemp. Looking to make something Kemp happen Kemp. with two oh. guys in the bottom of the second. Oh, is change piece? Can I hit the strike zone with the change piece? Out in front of it, strike yeah. one. See, here's the thing. He's trying to pull everything. So I'm just going to keep throwing it away. One. And that's this is on. not missed by the Kemp park as they move ahead of him out, nothing in two. At. And you kind of get yeah, the sense that he's he not pitches really me messing inside. around out there too Hence, much. There hasn't been a whole the three lot of setting score. guys up here in this inning. He's just Three. trying to get himself back into Three. that Three. dugout Three. as fast as he can. Into the windup, here with comes it? the 0-2 pitch. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. Liner toward right center, and that'll Come get on, down for a two-out single. That's high point. Trey Turner, what up? TT, where you at? Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, how do you see it? take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Oh, yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man a chance with him, I'm going to come Smoke inside more than I should. Left side. And he's trying to pull like that. Glove into left, I would literally end. rather that hit him and not miss over the Nolan Arenado gets a shot now with deuces all around. Two on, two out here in inning number two. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Nasty breaking that thing right now. Two men are on with two men out. Jammed him a bit there See, as it's fouled it at the plate. In. I want everything into righties. What's fastball here? Inside, yeah, I want him that to chase perhaps those. will back him off a bit. One and two. Let's see, here's the trick. Now he's thinking we're going outside. We're going to go up the ladder. Did a good he's job got, to shorten up and protect the uh, play. Elevate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Orlando Cepeda so far, is in the box sure. as we are all set to begin the third. And they jumped out to that early Orlando lead, so Cepeda. now it's all about just adding. This guy's down to 230. We're not even into the third inning. We just started the top of the third. This guy's already down to 230. Guess what? I'm calling him out when the time comes. I'm a hit. Except bust this guy. Bumgarner has his target. Hey, no, First pitch no, we're on the way. We're gonna take a strike. Now a fastball to strike the third. Ball. That misses. It's ball one. We're in full take a strike mode right now. And he won't bite at that one either. It's ball two. two. I'll take it. Slider taken right. for a cold strike. Two and one. Swing and a oh, high pop-up up back onto the outfield grass now. Kulowitzki is there for it. Makes the play one away. Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. Come, Stanton. Come, Come on. Come on, Gio. You going up? That's oh. Into the stand. Strike one. The 0-1. Hit high and deep get up, to get left up, field. Get up, get up, get up. He's back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Just in. Daniel Murphy Daniel stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. And that's taken for strike one. Lifted the other way out to left center. All right. Kemp will get there. Uh, yeah, so the home run. Away to retire the side. So intense. The beginning of that game the was Madison Bumgarner as they'll look to get something going Avengers. here and even this game up. Oh, Mad Bum. Madison Bumgarner. Watch Mad Bum hits a home run off me. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna give me that blue? 
Are you gonna give me that? I'm gonna take that all day. Late decision to swing that, that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. You like what you've seen from this guy here? so far? I do. I, I, I like where he's putting the fastball. And I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball bit. and changeup. I think he'll do well. The 0-2 home. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And striding in the speedy here. second baseman, Jose Altuve. Hey guys, Tyson from Yak City Gaming here, bringing you three reasons why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll start off uh, number one. At that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Well, here's a little trivia for you, Matt. On May 1st of 2012, Jose Altuve faced Mets pitcher That'd John Roush, inside. who's six feet 11 inches tall. The nope, foot and a half no, height no, differential no, is said no, to be no, the no, most no, in no, MLB no, history no, between a pitcher and batter. Uh, let's think it. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And this is that a thing moves. You see the movement on that thing? There, two yes. away. Right fielder, yes. Blaze yeah. Harper. Yeah. Stanton yeah. looking to put the bat on the ball Harper. for a change here with the first two guys going oh, down on strikes up, to start the inning. High and deep to straight away right. Back goes I think Stanton. Pop up. To the track. A pop up in my He's book. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Christian Yelich is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Leading off of the game box. Left fielder, Christian Yelich. On the there ground. it is. Oh! Backhanded. Throw to first in time. Through. One gone here in the fourth. Now back. One away, oh, my, and oh, here's my, the oh, shortstop, right. Andrew Tinsley. Let's go back. Let's go back. Back to the taking pitches. Starts him out with a curveball high, more. one and zero. Oh. Bases are Just empty, one man out. So that's all you can do sometimes. You make more. And that's in there for his strike, one and one. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Bumgarner has his sign. Here's the one. And like with Andrew Simmons. You can just battle. High and deep out Battles as good as a hit in my book. Kim, I mean, if you can hit a double. Oh, hit it. Another one off that weird spot on the wall. The Unbelievable. Let's do this game. In there safely. He's got a double. Wilson Ramos strides in after getting a base hit and later scoring the first time around. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high and deep. Oh, out Ramos. Field. Must be gone. Back goes or at least it's going to be off the wall. Still going back. Because dude's around him. But he can't get to this one. It's nice. off the nice. wall. Nice. Safe. The pitcher, Tanner Roar, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's try to hit a that one down right there. On right here. Oh! Here, guys. Oh! So close. Just what we want to do. On second base. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Tried, tried to try and fail. The two things is great. And he pops it up. Back behind second base. Catch made there by Altuve, and there are two guns. I now. heard the Yankees and Jays were rolling. What was that all about? Trey Turner steps in, working on a one for two, two game so far. Trey, Trey Turner, Turner, can you do it again? Can you do it again? This is hit high in the oh, air. Oh, it's straight away center. center. On the move is Kemp. He makes the play, and that'll end Tried. the inning. Tried. Uh, which, read, which video, uh, Derek Rose fan? Leading off the inning, Troy Tulowitzki. And they'll Leading need him to get inning. something going here. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on okay. so they can okay. manufacture okay. Gotta be run. careful. Don't want too low to do anything, so we're going to throw it. Too low. Well, or maybe not. That pitch was supposed to be out of the strike zone, and I hit it correctly. Figure that one out. Oh, because it ended up in the strike zone. That's exactly where I did not. They get on the board. It's four to one now. Now that ball is smoked. 
carrying the deep left. Yelich racing back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And they're right back in business again. He's in with a triple. Now to the plate, Ryan Braun. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. He's set. Here it comes. And oh, look out. Up and in and nearly took his head off. Hot shot towards the hole. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Let's, uh, let's focus here. Look. Matt Kemp is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. He's running towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. No one out with a runner at second. Swing line. Come on. That's going to be trouble. Taking the turn is Braun heading for the plate. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a three ball game. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. That's oh, not extends great. nicely, and this ball driven to right field and deep. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. 0 oh 1, here it comes. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Good catch. Ball, and boy. nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The 0-2 delivery. Got him swinging in the dirt. Ramos puts the tag on him, one gone. Didn't want to throw that. Stepping in, Just Nolan Arenado. As he'll look to bring home that time run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Turner. All that hard work. Or nothing. A two run shot that gives them the lead. The pitcher, number 40, Madison. So it's a two-run shot to right center as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Throw right. gets him. Two down. Back. That's, been, that's been the... Uh, Jose Altuve. Wasn't the thing for this team. Took a third about to really last time. Oh, you know, it Give it all away. Especially looking. Battle back. I wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at bat. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Hits are even at seven apiece. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Ramos Get gathers him. it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. <sighs> All right. Come Jose back. Reyes will stand come back, to lead actually. things off here in what's now a brand new Jersey. ball game. Darren, how about that last half Jose inning? Reyes. Now it's up to Jose, these guys to respond. Jose, Maybe punch Jose, back, Jose. if you will. It swung on and hit uh, in the air. Kemp on the run. And that's the first out of the inning. Orlando Cepeda will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on Down one, got the pen going. Bumgarner's ready. Here's the first pitch. Lead. Here's a high pop-up. Goldschmidt is there for it. He hauls it in without go any trouble, it. and there are need, two away. Need to so wait for are empty that. here with two gone, and set to stand in the to a dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch on its way. Good swing. Oh, it was right where we wanted it. That one out. 
but we're just way out in front of it. He's going high. Ah, not able to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. Okay. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Bryce Harper will stand in now. He struck out in the slide out. 0 for 2 thus far. Bryce Harper. And hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. I want this low and in. Hit him in the feet. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's one and one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. Stanton has a read on it. He's got it one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And danger now is standing in as the fine shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Looking at Tulowitzki up there, you can't help but think of all the honors that have come his way, despite some pretty significant injury setbacks. A perennial all star, a gold lover, a silver slugger award winner. This guy can do it all when he's healthy. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Joe Mauer. Grounded back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. So it's a runner at first with two guns. Uh, and then it'll change forth with great slugging Braun. left fielder Ryan Braun. Pitch selection. Let's try From the stretch, toes. here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cepeda, uh, Cepeda. in reach. foul you got ground. This? And no, they can't get there. Two out with the man at first. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. Mm. We've seen I don't that understand how a breaking ball can break like that and not once. be a strike. Pit board on the nice ground to second. Murphy's got it. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Steps in here to lead off the six as the rain continues to fall here. I'm glad I'm up in the standing room. You guys, because it kind of looks First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 0. Gets a small piece near the plate. Mauer is up with it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's yeah, retired here to begin the sixth. Well, up, Christian Yelich will dig Christian in for a third time Yelich. now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. And this is taken outside for ball one. One out, nobody on. Two and oh now. Just take. make him work. A strike and it's two and one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Braun has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Andrelton Simmons. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. In there, no balls and a strike. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field. Oh, line. is that gonna get lucky? Are we gonna get lucky? And we got lucky. Ooh, right ooh, we. The other way. Angleton Simmons, the luck dragon. The Wilson Ramos. A solo shot down the line in right as we are all tied at five. Loop down towards short. So this is right to Tulowitzki at short, and that'll end the inning. Okay. 
Okay. Matt Kemp gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown team. Uh, This leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. Aaron Barrett will oh, come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Very bad news for him. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Kind of does look bad in Barrett, too. <laughs> Fastball misses inside. inside. It's even at one. Here's the one and one pitch. That's Up ball. high. Two and one now. Two one. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Here it comes. Good battle. Count remains full. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat okay, is also okay. found. Now we got him so looking the count holds steady at three balls and two strikes. And foul. And that one misses. Oh, no, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. He bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to make the throw and put the tag on quickly. Give me that ale. Fly ball out toward left center field. Yelich is under it. Makes the play. Right. Oh, right. Yelich playing center tonight. Nolan Arenado steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Nolan Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This one's blooped out to a right center worry. field. Stanton shading to his right. And the inning is over. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great Three city of Boston. All even at four as we start the seventh. Doesn't let me call time out. This guy is a game. Summary to this point. Aaron Barrett is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Martin Prado is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. I'm going to put one right over the second baseman's head. That's the attempt here. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Inside corner called a strike one and two. Drilled to the left side. Take single. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Trey Turner steps Center in and perhaps seven. looking to drive Three. another one out of the oh, park just like he did in the second. Trey Turner. Inside with the fastball, it's one and all. Oh. Go ahead, runs the board here at first with nobody out. I put Deeper in there. Fly ball to Trey Turner, get up. off the wall. Get off the wall. Get up. This is oh! oh. oh. For the first down. Get a charge into that. Let out. Let go. Jose Reyes gets Jose another Reyes crack one. right here. He's got a hit Jose. in three tries to this Reyes. point. First offering on its way. Runner goes for second. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Orlando Cepeda stands in. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, he just up and cut a fastball. That top hand kind of dragged through the zone, which caused the bat head to get drop. Down, get and that's into the outfield for the one out hit. Pro comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one away. Giancarlo Stanton. Got to be patient here. Got to be patient. High ball game, bases loaded, but the possibility of an inning ending double play does exist here. Go. Starting to go around Patience there, but he is key right here. Ball one. 
shot fouled over towards the coaching box. Okay. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Bases are loaded with only one out. Hope this guy's watching his clock. Fernando oh, come on now, now really needing that. Fernando Rodney. Great push. All Ooh. even now, two and two. Rodney's ready. Two-two on its way home. Again, he sends it out of play. Bases are loaded here. One man out. Struck him out. Oh. And now they like need a base hit to get that runner home from third. AZ Axel, what up? Daniel Murphy is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Bad exchange uh, as this has popped up. No. Is there for it. Oh, yes. What happened there? It falls in. That's why you hustle with two outs. Ball makes contact. You run. Run your heart out with two outs. Christian Yelich. Well, this could be a huge inning or maybe the end of the inning. This is a pivotal at bat and one of the turning points of this ball game right here. Here's the first pitch to him. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Uh. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And Goldschmidt will make the catch and that ends the inning. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Addison Reed will get the ball now, now as he'll take over on the Addison mound to start the home Reed. seventh. Fernando Rodney will come on, and as he's newly entered... Ferdinando in Rodney. Let's go. If we can get through this inning. I feel like we can He's up off the bench, and he'll be asked to get something started in the home. Okay, okay. Line towards center field. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Jose Altuve will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Yeah, guys, not really providing the spark on, that they usually hope to get out of him. Maybe he can make something happen right here. Don't be mad about my bunt game. It was fly and fresh to death. Just got a piece to the right side. A bare-handed pickup game? and good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Right Bryce Harper 34. stands into the box. Right. Could really use a knock Harper. here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. I feel like there's no way you can go off all on change up on me. Hard forward. liner to center field. Yeah. Oh, oh I want to dive. His first to Give the me the dive. Troy Tulowitzki gets another oh, shot. Man. And if you remember, he hit a round number back in the fourth. Tulowitzki. Uh, in where the I wanted it. 0 and 1. A runner on first with two away. Now a swing and the barrel oh. of the bat breaks in two that time. On the ground to the left side. Easy way. Nope. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Come on. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Joe Maurer gets okay. a shot now with two number men seven. on and two away Show. here in inning number seven. Mauer. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. From the stretch. 
And he swings on the first pitches. This is stuck with him. Stuck with him. Believed in him. Believed in him. This one away, and the side is retired. Got to believe in your pitcher sometimes. Third base was Jose. Leading off the inning. And this is him into the home run. Now. They'll look for some added insurance for before the bottom half of the inning. Yeah, we could pinch hit here. Let's come in. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do one it again. One of Jerry's. Come on, Jerry. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there. Take is this strike. is cut on and missed? Got to take strike strike. one. And it's quickly 0-2. Grounded to third. Arenado has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Wilson Ramos ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. I don't think that's a stream that he had before. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. Zishak pauses. Here comes the first pitch. Ooh, he saws him off it. with that one. Foul. Bases are empty. One man out. Ah. Drill down the line. There we go. Just needed the confidence. Just needed the, the confidence. To the third, but he gets by the glove yeah, down the line. Just the confidence. Addison Reed will stand in now. He'll be getting happy. his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. McGriff, prime dog or Freeman? Prime dog or Freeman? Well, prime dog in this situation. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. The primaniest dog. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball. One he throws me a slider. Well, one man. First year, one, one man. Jack. Oh, it was a change. On a pitch I it was the a ball and a strike. Yeah, just oh, really jumping slider. out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball. Maybe even slider. Shot back up the Thank middle. You. In there, a base hit. He flew out in his last at bat. That's just not really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the lay off those low and away sliders from righties to righties. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Down 0 2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. Nope, you're not doubling him up. Not doubling him up. throw will go to second as they get the force out. Steeled. In now, Jose Reyes. Already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. Runners breaking for the plate. Rounded oh. up the first baseline. The oh. tag, and he is out. We need a rod dog. Fernando Rodney is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Leading off the inning, Ryan Braun. Leading as they'll the look Avengers. to get something going here and even this game up. Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late. So they need to get at least one back here in this inning. And Rodney with a good fastball out of the pen. No balls and a strike. Try to bunt his way on get base here, but this will be foul. Pump in. Two seams. Hit hard oh, come through. on. And that's a First base off, hit, so the pressure's on to off. open up the inning. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring in the powerful center fielder, Matt Kemp. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. On the move is Braun. Pitch outside. The throw. Hold the, the throw is low Dirty and he can't Dirty. make the pick. Oh, the goddamn ball. A runner at second. Out of my no mile. Ball. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will get foul. Two and one. Gets the sign. Here comes the two one. 
swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. Ramos reaches out and tags him to make it official. Come on. One away. Paul Goldschmidt comes to the plate now representing the potential tying run. Well, if he gets the pitch to drive right here, you can bet that he's going to give it a rip. But at the very least, they need a productive A.B. out of him right here. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Whoa, whoa. What's the is over now and he's got it for route number two. Nolan Arenado. Well, on that, do you just try to interfere with that? His last time. Yo, how gangster am I? Put the timer on first. And so they'll issue the free pass, and with the pitcher on deck, that'll force their hand here with two gone. Forcing the bullpen play. Come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Freddie Freeman, all right, I have that. We're going to whip Freddie Freeman. I love him. That's the sad part. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and Dan Murphy, you can catch that, but you can't catch a simple throw over. from the catcher. What the f is your problem? That that inning is not interesting without that play. Striding in to start the ninth, Orlando Cepeda, as they'll look for some added on, insurance Jared. before the bottom half of the inning. I gotta get your almost up there too, just in case. In this game he gets so many runs going in the bat because you know he has big time power. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing in one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Come on now, come on now. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. <laughs> Tried. Tried here. Now a swing oh, and a high come on. fly ball, and this one has to carry on the right. deep right More to the right. 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 Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometime. He had high in the air down the right field line. Harper has a read on it. Two down. Ready now, Daniel Murphy. And he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. And he'll lay off a first pitch sinker, missing down and in for a ball. 1 0. Oh. Not close. It's 2 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. Here's a swing uh, and a high pop foul. up. Drifting foul. toward the third base dugout. And oh, he can't rein it in. Into the wind. got the homer with the two uh, one pitch. Before that one over there. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Well, he just hasn't looked comfortable all night long. He's in the fastball. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Send the runners, the even though there are no runners. you got to make him swing the bat. And not be giving up walks at this stage of the game. Because it could be fatal. Braun is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Jose Altuve. And leading they'll need him to get something going here. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. Hops 
this one up. Rodney's Just effective now. The with Rodney's on the effectiveness. Right we got to let him roll. Murphy is there to make the catch, and it's a dreadful start to the bottom of the ninth. One pitch, one out. Bryce Harper will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Yeah, and you just can't worry about the score right here. You just got to be able to string together a couple of base runners and take it one pitch at a time, one runner at a time. Not that where I wanted it. By Harper Not and ball where I wanted it. Deep right field. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Then he gets to be like a foot lower. Solo home run off now the pitching. bat of Bryce Harper Jerry. as it's now a one-run game, 7-6 to six now. Jerry Scamilla will come on here hoping to get the final two outs and pick up the save. Troy Tulowitzki comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. I try to get two over there. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. I get two over there. And this is going to wind up it. a foul ball. Here it comes on one and one. Up and in on the hands, it's two balls and a strike. So two and two now. All oh, where I want that Nobody pitch. on. You think we're going with the slider outside? We got to bust the inside of the heater again. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number the two. Number seven, Joe Mauer. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of players deserving, but gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this right man there. a nod as our what top player right in the game. Take that yeah, L. He came through with a couple L. of hits, but more importantly, that right. big home run, which L. really led his guys to this victory. Rick and Ramos, three for four. Anderson Simmons, two for four. Trey Turner with the yakety sack and two RBIs. Jose Reyes with the Trey Turner was the one I caught. And then looked low and in for a little slide piece, but he threw me a heater up and in and I turned on it. Eleven hits, out of it. One error. They left seven men on base. Break in. Time of the ball Three hours and 44 minutes. Anderson Simmons, unbelievable. Played some great defense. Uh, hit the homer over the pesky pole, or around the pesky pole. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Good game, Naftalin. Give me something good. No, that is good. The 79 is the first card to go away. Coolio with the flow back in your ear. Matt Thornton. Turner Field. Tommy Lastella with the boost. Strowman, take it. Give that guy the GG. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Bullpen Banter. Uh, that game was good. Not gonna lie. So good, I'm gonna say it was a good game. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back again next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. With another episode of Bullpen Banter. Maybe we'll do gold, gold players next week. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll switch it up. I don't know. We'll figure it out uh, as we go along. Millennium might be back. Uh, not sure what games are releasing next week. So we might be doing stuff for Operation Sports again. So uh, we'll see what we can find out. Uh, but other than that, you can catch me Wednesday night on twitch.tv slash OOTP developments playing Out of the Park Baseball 17. Uh, also, we just had our pre-orders go up for Franchise Hockey Manager 3. Uh, so make sure you head over to, uh, you know what, the fastest way to find the link, go to twitch. Uh, go to twitter.com slash OOTP baseball. Uh, I think I tweeted out the link to pre-order over there. Uh, you can do that. You can save 25% right now if you do a pre-order, pick up the game for twenty nine ninety nine. I wonder if you use promo code TSG17, you might get an extra 10% off that, but don't tell nobody. Uh, also, Thursday night, twitch.tv slash EA Sports will be doing another Thursday night throwdown. Uh, we had a lot of fun the last couple weeks, and uh, we keep hope we keep having fun. Uh, not on the real schedule. Uh, my real streaming schedule you can see on uh, thatsportsgamer.com slash schedule. Has Monday night's bullpen banter. Has Wednesday night's out of the park stream. Has Thursday night throwdown. What it doesn't have, don't know if I want to make it official. Still kicking this around. Uh, Sunday night, I've been streaming some MLB. Kind of just tinkering with some stuff. Uh, that's where I built this team and played around a little bit. 
Uh, so there might be a Sunday night stream, so definitely follow the channel here at twitch.tv slash thatsportsgamer to be notified whenever we go live. Um, that'll help you out. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at thatsportsgamer. Uh, you'll definitely know when I'm going live. Follow me over there. Uh, and lastly, if you didn't catch the whole show and you want to go back and see the beginning, uh, this whole thing is archived over at youtube.com slash thatsportsgamer. Oh, another programming note. Uh, this Friday night midnight so technically saturday but friday night uh, i'll be taking part in uh, international podcast day uh they're doing a 30 hour stream i believe over there uh international podcast day.com has all the links you need uh check that out i'll be talking about how i went from just a guy sitting at home uh to the community manager of out of the park baseball and how podcasting made that happen for me uh and really helped me move my career forward uh, in this sports or video game industry uh, that we have here. Uh, but again, thank you all for coming out tonight. Really appreciate it. Uh, R.I.P. Jose Fernandez. Uh, great baseball that he got to play in his career, sadly. Uh, cut short. Probably would have been a legend. Already pretty much is a legend uh, with what he was able to do in his time in the game. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you again next week. Take it easy, folks.